What sort of sparked the idea of forming a co-op? Initially, it was a group of friends uh, and myself, and we were trying to find some way of forming an intentional community. It's not just one person looking after their house, it's a community looking after their shared housing. What are words from? Let's see. There is a real sense of community. The neighbors are close and very ready to help each other. I know that my children will be in good hands wherever they are, and I know that they are safe because everybody knows everybody's child. The lifestyle that we are enjoying here is a community spirit, whether it be potluck suppers, puzzles, cards, all kinds of games. It allows us to become friends and look after each other, so it is a full community involvement within the building. New opportunities, new communities, new beginnings. Cooperative housing has a long, proud history in Manitoba, helping neighborhoods flourish, helping families thrive, creating safe, affordable housing for people of all ages and backgrounds. When people come together to make a place their own, great things can happen. My name is Awo. I come originally from Ghana. My husband and I decided to migrate here because of our kids. We first came here in 2006. For me, some of the best things are the neighbors, the fact that I can have childcare, and the location. The grounds are beautiful in summer. We have barbecues, we have garage sales. We're sharing a lot of resources. And even when I didn't have a job, it was affordable for me to pay the rent and everything. My housing situation is not one of my, my stresses. I am happy, very, very happy to live here. By bringing together individuals to form a co-op, you're bringing together not only financial resources to lessen the burden on any one individual, but you're also bringing together a collection and a collective of expertise and experiences and knowledge and diversity. My name is Harvey Douglas. The co-op originated from the Seniors for Seniors Advocacy Committee. Uh, they recognized that there was a major shortage of affordable housing for seniors in the city of Brandon. We think that this has been an extremely successful project with the partnerships that we had between the government, the city, the people in the community, and the lender were all very, very important. It was constructed in 13 months. It was occupied within two months. There has been nothing but happy, happy, happy people ever since they moved in and we think that it's one of the best things that could happen for a, a group of seniors. Westover Credit Union feels it's important to get involved in these kinds of projects because it's a cooperative, it's, a, it's an organization that we understand. We're a financial cooperative. Our goals basically are to support the community that we operate in. And my advice to somebody starting up a co-op would be to get a good team together, do your research, search out all the options that you have, and uh, search out a, a like-minded financial institution. One of the reasons why I became the mayor of Brandon is because I saw the need in our community for more affordable housing. The co-op model also speaks to my heart, that when you can get a group of people together who have identified a need, are going to be working together to put their shoulder to the wheel, to put a roof over their head collectively. It is just such an empowering thing for not just the residents in that building, but for the entire city. My name is Cornel Osland and I live at Bluestem Housing Co-op. Initially, the general idea was wouldn't it be great if we all lived in a building and our kids could just roam the hallways and if we were having Brussels sprouts, we know they'd go next door and ask for cookies or something, but that would be okay because we'd all be in the same place and we'd know each other and we'd have some sense of community. So that was sort of our initial intentional community vision. And we layered on top of that co-op, which is a legal structure. There's a spectrum of different kinds of co-ops that you can set up for housing. So the model we chose is a non-equity co-op, which means the, the value of the asset, this building that we have in the land, and that stays with the, the co-op. And it's set up as a non-profit, which means when people move in, they purchase a share, and then when they leave, they get their shares back at the same price they paid for it. The co-op can be structured any way the members want it to be structured. That's part of the beauty of it. We've been here for 18 years uh, and love it. 
We've formed some fabulous friendships uh, over the years and it's a great neighborhood. There's lots of amenities and this is not a neighborhood we would have been able to live in without having a co-op. The first piece of advice I'd have to someone who's thinking of starting a new housing co-op is in order for it to work you need to have lots of people involved. So have lots of conversations, talk to other people. You'll also need some expertise in helping develop the co-op, set up the bylaws. It's great to have a vision and jump in and start it. It's even better to have a vision uh, and an idea and then bring in a whole lot of people to help facilitate that and actually increase your chances of success. Co-op housing, the pride of ownership, the power of partnership. Consider the opportunities.